have to be able to make an adjustment and see immediate returns and go on this kind of hot streak where you really need that. Yeah, offense. I've been impressed with her. She, her game plans, she's very specific. She knows exactly what she wants to do at the plate. Her plan's solid. I think um, offensively our plans have been solid. It's just continuing to be timely and to pass the bat. But to see the freshmen uh, grow at the plate, you know, because the, the types of pitching that we've, uh, the pitchers that we've faced all year, they're tough. They're all American postseason type pitchers. So um, to have successes and, and to walk away on positive note um, against these big time pitchers, I think it's just, it's going a long way for us. And it's allowing these freshmen to see, hey, I can, I can, I can hit against the best. How unique is it to start for a freshman, you know, at the number one team in the country? in general and what do you think that'll do for you a couple of years from now, that experience yeah. that they got? Yeah, I, I think the experience that this young group is getting is humongous um, and is not only helping us right now, but um, future wise to any time you can say, oh yes, we have a young experienced team that that says a lot that really allows you to do some good things. And I think we're seeing that right now towards the end of our season and we'll continue to see it throughout their careers. With how well Seavers has been playing, especially against an opponent like UCLA, where would you compare to the, some of the other good freshmen in the Pac-12? Oh goodness, I, I don't even you know, I don't even know. I, I would just tell you that to see what she's done at the beginning to the middle and what she's doing now. I love how she's leading on defense. I love what she's doing at the plate. She's really decisive. She's confident. She knows what she wants and um, just I. I, I just love what she's doing, and she's capable of that. I mean, we knew that's what she would be doing, you know, at the beginning of the year. So I'm not surprised, um, but just I think just all of this experience that she's getting and the others are just going to go a long way for all of them. Missy, and trying to extend Jordan to three games in three days and trying, you know, down the stretch here in particular, strategically, I understand it has to be like an ideal situation, but if you're ahead in certain spots, any thought process is to try and get Kaylee in, steal an inning against maybe the bottom of the order and the you know the seven, eight, nine, one kind of spots to try and and you know extend, you know, take a load off of Jordan a little bit when she, when you can selectively. I mean, everybody would love to be up ten nothing or something, but even if you're up two or three runs, can you try to steal an inning in order to you know take a little bit of lo load off Jordan to get her through with something? Yeah, I think with that, it just depends. It's hard to say like ahead of time what exactly we would do, but anytime we can take some load off her um, or take some innings off her, we definitely want to be able to do that. And I was extremely imp impressed with Kaylee this weekend and what she did. I mean, to, um, you know, hadn't picked up a ball since last May and then to two scoreless innings against UCLA, you think four scoreless innings against Washington. She gave us opportunity to beat Oklahoma State. Like, she's putting us in positions to win ball games, And that's really what we want from our pitching staff. I, if you want to strike people out, great. All we need is outs. And for you to put us in a position to win a ball game, that's what we need for our staff. And I think they're doing a great job at that right now.